Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we doing today? Welcome to October the 1st, 2021. Goodbye, September. Hello, October. It's a new hey. quarter. Welcome to, nice to have you here at uh, Stock Markets with Bruce, your buddy Uncle Bruce here, where we're trying to explain what's happening in the markets in plain English, if that's possible. Sometimes it's easier said than done. But uh, we'll give it a go. Um, I noticed that the um, markets are higher in the pre-market, at least the big markets. Uh, Dow is up 179. We were negative on the Dow um, earlier today. We were uh, we were like uh, 200 points lower than this uh, in the pre-market, if not more. Uh, we were we were negative 30, 50, 80. But um, turnaround happened about an hour ago. Um, I don't actually have a reason for it. I, I just get the impression that uh, the market is uh, sensing a bit oversold here and there. Um, Apple off 9% from its recent highs, to give you an idea, like a little oversold, uh, maybe. Um, S&P up 19 and a half and uh, NASDAQ up 51, oil down 69 cents. Rumors out of, uh, rumors out of uh, OPEC starting to uh, show up that because the prices have done relatively well lately, now in the mid 70s, there's talk about increased production quotas. Well, our, our buddies at OPEC, they can't, they can't keep a deal if they tried. They, they are supposedly on some kind of production quota now. But uh, when you do the when you do the math, um, when let's put it this way, whenever an analyst does the math, and they figure out how much oil is really being produced by company one, two, three, four, five. And they, they go, okay, well, OPEC as a whole says that their quota is so much, but the actual production is this much. It's always more. Always more. Uh, they're always uh, breaking their quota levels. Um, they are, are um, a bunch of these OPEC member countries are basically uh, dictatorships. Uh, they have to keep their generals in line and, and all their subordinates uh, they have to keep all their political foes in line. So bribes go everywhere. Uh, the public gets nothing. Uh, you know, money flowing down to the average person on the street is, is minuscule. The upper 5% live wonderfully in these countries. Uh, and, uh, you know, the bribes keep going. The, tri the trick of it is, unfortunately, is that they can't keep a budget because they don't have one. They're not really, you know, meant. They're, they don't have to keep one. You have a dictatorship, you don't keep a budget. Uh, and so uh, uh, what happens is that these guys are producing more oil than they are agree agreeing to. Um, and, uh, and that keeps the, keeps the game going. Um, so, okay, oil is up anyway, despite the cheating, which is, you know, it does fluctuate. And now the official word is, well, maybe OPEC might increase production. So we'll see what happens on that. Uh, but what's dominating my chat room this morning before I come on the air is Spire. Spire Global. Um, Spire Global is down 278 a share at the moment on the pre-market with 33,000 volume, which is very little. Um, last night uh, in the post-market, the aftermarket, the shares dropped uh, to this low 10 range out of just left field. It was down two bucks a share on like 3,000 shares volume. No idea what's going on. I have no, I have no idea what's going on now. I've been trying to look up any news on spire there's nothing anywhere um there's guesswork we're all guessing what it is i'm sure um could it be that a uh, that a, a block of stock has come loose uh but again i don't see why that would make a difference i don't know um uh, i don't know anything about the uh the stock dropping because of the uh merger deal that uh exact earth should have nothing to do with it so We'll see how the stock uh, per, you know, does when we open for regular trading in the open market. Uh, and we'll see what, uh, you know, we'll see what we really see, we'll see what's going on. Uh, is, is the entire street prepared to trade Spire $2.78 lower? First thing this morning from last night's close without a single reason for it? I, 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 I'm, I am stumped at this. Um, and I would have thought sometime during this pre-market, we would have had a bit of um, a res you know, semblance back to normal. Not getting it. Uh, we went from uh, 10.60 this morning and then uh, then to the 10.20 range and then through 10 and now at 9.75. Uh, 
I have no idea. Uh, 34,000 volume. That's all. Like, that is all. We know the stock can go two bucks either, either direction at any point in time, but this is kind of kind of ridiculous. I really would like to know, um, are these guys planning on having like a market maker, you know, moderate their market for them or, or what? I, <clears throat> I have not a clue what's going on. Maybe they don't either. Uh, SoFi uh, has been climbing this morning a little bit and a little bit and a little bit. It's now $15.97 to $16. We're up uh, 9, 10, 15 cents a share this morning. Um, the volume on SoFi, 171, 173,000 now. Um, I'm still waiting. Uh, I really am waiting for either uh, an explanation as to why it's a bad deal for shareholders that the company is going to raise 1.1 billion interest free or it's a good deal that they're raising 1.1 billion dollars interest free convertible into common stock at prices of 24 to 32 dollars a share i i'm waiting to find out like please tell me why this is a bad deal i i can't understand why anyone would think this is a negative to the to the company i just i just don't they don't need the money as far as paying their bills or surviving or anything like that they've, they've got capital they are they're generating flow they're flowing that cap. um i just think that they have the ability to raise billions of dollars uh making a few calls or texts uh um to get into whatever i i think that uh you know the ceo um mr moto former goldman sachs executive uh former senior executive at the nfl former i think ceo of twitter knows his way around uh, when it comes to uh, publicly traded companies, social media, uh, and the markets. And um, this deal that has been announced, I think, is just a fine deal. I, I don't have an issue with, uh, with uh, the pricing, the amount, the terms, uh, nothing. It's going to be done on Monday. It's all finished on Monday, which tells me, well, it hints to me that maybe we have this charter, this bank charter news coming out Monday or Tuesday. It's that imminent. Um, bring it on. Uh, I, I'm, like I say, I am stumped that the stock is at 16 bucks. Uh, it should be so much higher than this. Anyway, we'll see what gives. Um, what else is going on? I'm trying to follow a few other stories at the same time. Uh, a rocket lab was up. Uh, it was, looked like it was going to be higher to start the day. Now it's sitting at 15.92 down 21 cents. Um, not too, not too, uh, going, not too much going on there. Um, there's all kinds of ninnies, all kinds of worry warts out there, all kinds of nervous analysts all over the place, worried about inflation, interest rates, the end of the world, dogs and cats sleeping together. Uh, and I, I'm just looking at this market going, are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? Really? Uh, you got nothing better to do than worry about this. Um, we got a pandemic going here. The fact that this world is functioning the way it is is a miracle. It's, it's, it's truly amazing how how very functional the planet has still maintained uh, itself to be despite all of these obstacles in our way. I see Matterport up 12 cents, by the way. Uh, the fact that you can go into a grocery store and, 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 and see 99% of all the products there all the time, uh, only 1% of them are you know, occasionally not available. This is amazing. Um, Costco functioning, uh, Amazon functioning, uh, the airlines, uh, truly stunning. Uh, a very good, a very good score for the human race um, to keep the world going, even though there's a pandemic underway. Uh, the market's okay; they're off a few percentage points, but it's nothing to get excited about. Uh, yeah, sure, individual stocks here and there have had their day. Um, the Fang stocks have had a bit of pressure. Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll go with that, um, but. Um, Party ain't over, kids. <laughs> Party is not over. Uh, the iPhone 13, if that's any indication uh, of what to expect, um, the early numbers coming out on the iPhone 13 orders, pre-orders, they're huge. They are massive, much higher than the number 12 phone. And uh, uh, there's weeks and weeks of wait time to get them. Um, they're no, they're no cheaper than previous models. So it's not like they're on sale. Um, the pent up demand for merchandise is dramatic. And, uh, I, I don't see, uh, the markets as a whole going into any kind of a tailspin. 
I do not see credit being a big problem right now. Banks, uh, uh, central bankers are, are, are continuing to provide capital, all capital you need. Um, and they will continue to do this because there's no there's no better alternative. Um, and there's no need to shut off the spigot. There really isn't. Uh, inflation is not a big concern. It's, it's the occasional glitch here and there. But really, uh, there's nothing to worry about here. Um, 17 plus trillion dollars in Americans' bank accounts waiting to be uh, spent and, 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 and enjoyed. Um, um, and I, I just I just do not see a... Uh, uh, a, a stop to this market. I think this market goes higher. Uh, we're waiting now for this this infrastructure bill thing, this continuing resolution thing, this Washington political thing. We're waiting for this to be finished off. Um, and I can tell you, it will be finished off. It will conclude. Um, some sort of deal will be will come out. Maybe it's a three part thing, but yeah, the infrastructure deal that was signed and. and Proof through the Senate already will clear the House, will make it to the President's desk. There will be other spending, um, and uh, and uh, we move on. Uh, but the the markets have temporarily decided to ignore the infrastructure side of the of the bill at this point. And and okay, their prerogative. But I will remind you that the infrastructure deal to fund highways, airports, um, seaports, uh, container ship facility, and, and railroads, and uh, you name it. Um, this is a big deal. This is a very good big deal, a very positive, good, big deal for America and the markets. Um, this is capital that will flow un uninterrupted now for a decade through these projects. And um, uh, you know, a bridge that takes five years to build will get built or um, an intersection that needs to be uh, upgraded will get upgraded. There won't be a, a new administration two years from now to stop everything. It's a it's a go. It's a go. It's a go. And the reality is that the Republicans are just as addicted to this deal, deal as the Democrats are, because all districts in the United States, whether they be Democratic or Republican, they all get a piece of the action. The, the, the highways are screwed up everywhere. They're not just screwed up in Republican states or Democratic states. Their, their highways are, are a mess everywhere. So it's a positive, uh, positive thing. Okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. The markets uh, will move higher, uh, but they have to go through this uh, gurgitation, what do you want to call it? Uh, some people have, no one's used the word correction yet. The, the word correction has not been tallied about. This might become um, the talk of the market in the next week or two. If we we bottom out here and begin a begin a recovery the other way, there then might be analysts going, you know that what you know what that was? That was a correction. We we missed it completely. It was a correction. Um, okay, <laughs> it's just the stocks went down and now they're going up again, uh, and they're going to go higher. Anyway, there you go. Uh, that's the uh, that's the story. Okay. Uh, never a dull moment, um, you know, uh, who knows how it's all going to come out, but um, the key here is to be in the right stocks and the right businesses doing the right kind of business at the right time. And uh, the good news for many of you, you're sitting on a bunch of these uh, companies that were once SPACs, they're now publicly traded companies, well-funded companies. They're all moving their own direction and they're all moving forward, and I think they can all do rather well in the markets. And so... Uh, the, we, we, we continue to follow them, and I think we'll uh, we'll uh, hopefully see a better results. This, the occasional Spire Global and the ATIP um, ME stocks that puzzle the hell out of us. Yeah, we're going to get that. We're, that's going to come along every once in a while. That's part of the uh, part of the price you pay for following this crazy market. Sometimes you just have to tolerate the uh, the silliness of it all. Um, I can't, um, you know. We can only observe and uh, and uh, try to figure out what what the meaning of life is, but we sometimes we can't we can't alter uh, the way it's going. We can only try to just follow it. Anyway, there you have it. Uh, we'll keep on top of this and see what happens. We I think we have uh, what do we got? Thirty four minutes to go before we open. Welcome one, welcome all to the show. Um, the Dow now down one forty two, S and P down fourteen, Nasdaq down thirty one. And that's where we're at right now. Um, yours truly here, uh, still suffering along here. We uh, 
we're done with my dental appointments. We're all, we're all done now. I uh, had my last one yesterday. Had a, uh, had a wisdom tooth uh, that had been breaking apart for years. Finally removed. It was a nothing burger. 15 minutes. Uh, he had it done in 15 minutes. I couldn't believe it. I said, that's it? I, you're done? Where's the door and the string? How do you remove teeth these days? It's incredible. He goes, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the old days. <laughs> uh, although he did humor me. He uh, he had uh, he had uh, been going in there with tweezers and stuff, and then he had everything ready. And he said, okay, give me the bone crusher. <laughs> and I'm looking, the bone crusher? And then he... He finally had a pair of pliers that really meant something. Uh, beautiful pair of pliers. Um, <laughs> but he said, open wide. And uh, apparently he grabbed it and just pulled it up. Uh, I felt nothing. <laughs> he said, that's it. You're done. And he's showing it to me. And it's just a tiny little thing. I go, There's nothing left. This thing's all rotted out. We're done for. This tooth is finished. Yeah, it was. And the good news is that uh, here I am the next morning. There's no freezing left on this side. And there's no pain whatsoever absolutely no side effects and even the bleeding from the extraction was almost nothing it was phenomenal i was very happy very pleased unfortunately i wish i could say the same for my root canal i'm still sensitive and tender on the other side but it is better it, it is getting better but oh it's been a slow grind and uh i'm hoping this weekend we 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 just get through this and i can chew normally again and we'll be all right but Welcome to the dental thing, uh, but I'm done for now, and I'm going to leave it at that, and uh, hopefully things will just, swellings will come down, <laughs> pains will go away, tenderness will disappear. I got to tell you, after we got home last night, uh, Jennifer and I, we uh, went for a bite to eat, then we came back to this hotel, and uh, the top secret location we're staying at, we went downstairs to the top secret uh, uh, spa, uh, the, the, hot, the hot spa. And I tell you, I went in there and I sat down and the jets were hitting my shoulder blades up here and my back. You forget all about your jaw. <laughs> it just felt so good. Because when other parts of your body start to get stimulated like you need it because of stress and the tension. Oh, gosh. This this whole four, six sessions with the dentist in two and a half weeks. Tension. Uh, just get rid of this and let it go. And it just loosens up and... I, I do what I can. It's uh, the older you get, you still get tense. It's just the way it is. It just get tense for other things. What can I say? Anyway, um, yeah, uh, Larry says my root canal took two weeks to stop bothering me. There you go. I, I'm just hoping mine will. If mine were to do, if this one were to do what the first one did, oh man, the first one was a piece of cake. There was nothing. Um, within three days, I was back. Uh, but this one here, eh, you know course i have i had other work done at the same time to irritate the gums so you're uh, you're getting a lot done in a short period of time so i'm pushing it i was pushing it pretty hard but um even at the dentist office i said it's good that you're not coming back for a while <laughs> we love the money Bruce. We, we love it when you come in here spend money on getting stuff done but we got enough of your money for now we we have others like you with worse problems we got lots of money coming in so go go away so uh, i'm ready now to um, get out of here so we're getting ready to head to uh california IA. uh that is coming up i'm going to be on the air today uh three times if everything works out as per usual the third show will be at seven o'clock tonight eastern time trivia on this channel and on traveling with bruce live trivia tonight so if you want to hang out with me in a very relaxed air away where we just shoot the breeze and i bring up some tricky little trivia questions for you uh join me tonight seven o'clock eastern time right here and on traveling with bruce and uh let's have some fun so i'd love to have you pop in but um after tonight um i'll be on the air monday for the last time uh if everything goes according to plan from uh, calgary from canada for a while as we um finish up and then i'm off the air next tuesday the whole day i'm off the air and if everything works out i'm back on the air for wednesday morning from california from palm desert california so uh, stand by uh we're uh, we're excited we're 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 pumped but we're also nervous <laughs> because it's a big it's just big big changes big changes big changes. you just want to get it done and over with um got some good news actually yesterday uh uh nothing to do with this channel necessarily but uh uh we're flying down to lax from calgary and and uh, we're on on uh, the only carrier which is WestJet, 
WestJet and Delta have a deal, but it's WestJet that flies it. And uh, they have a deal at their, where if you book your seats, uh, which we, we did a couple weeks ago, they book your seats, and then they, they say, uh, you know, uh, pick your seat number. And, and the, 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 the fare that I picked allowed us to each check in a bag and all that. So we did that, and uh, uh, we, uh, we finished the booking process, and we get the email, uh, which is typical, you know, congratulations, you've booked your flight, da, 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 da. Then I got another email, like a minute later, got another email. Hey, Bruce, hey, listen, uh, WestJet here. I uh, just wanted to uh, mention that um, if you are interested, uh, you could uh, upgrade your seat to a, uh, you know, to the front of the plane. Uh, instead of having three and three, we have two and two up there, uh, sort of like business class. Or let's call it premium economy, but they call it business class. Anyway, um, you could upgrade to business class, and um, normally it's like uh, $250 a person more one way. However, uh, you could put in a bid, and maybe you'll, uh, you, maybe you'll catch, the, catch the deal. So the minimum bid was $130 each or something like that, so $260. Bucks. I saw, this is Canadian money, so I thought uh, $260 Canadian, that's like $20 American dollars. I thought, hey, this is a good deal. So I, I just, I filled out the form and I said, yeah, yeah, I'm prepared to bid this much money for an upgrade. Let me know. Got the word yesterday. You got the upgrade. You're in. You're in to win. So we are at the front of the plane uh, instead of the middle. And, uh, and it's telling me that it's not a full flight, which is great. And um, I'm very happy about that. So Jen and I have a little more room to roam, a little more room to stretch up. And... Uh, you know, maybe we'll get our uh, Diet Coke a little quicker than normal. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, so that was kind of nice. That was a nice little uh, thought. I thought, well, there's a sign. There's a sign. If that happens on an airplane ticket, you know what that means. It means that every stock I recommend to my viewers is going to go straight up in price. It's just going to rocket to the moon, and my viewers are going to get rich, rich, rich beyond compare because this is how it works. If you, you take care of the creator like this. You, you, you're taking care of the creator's viewers. And so, uh, viewers, congratulations. Uh, your Uncle Bruce got upgraded to a nicer seat on the plane, which means you guys are going to get richer. And it's just that simple. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I can't see any other way. <laughs> uh, yeah, about 20 American dollars. Uh, so anyway, there you go. Um, that was all right. Um, we also got some more good news yesterday. We had, a, we had an agent that we had talked to... Uh, the other about three weeks ago, who was who was uh, based on one of the properties in the Palm Desert that we uh, we would like to be in, and uh, I reached out to him and I phoned him, and which is you know old school, uh, old school thinking. But I phoned this guy, got him, and told him you know what the deal was, and uh, told him that uh, Jen and I are looking for a place, and uh, I said, hey, look, uh, you can check me out. Uh, um, uh, you know, traveling with Bruce and uh, stock markets with Bruce on YouTube. He said, oh, you're on YouTube. I said, oh, yeah. So I told him that we needed uh, a condo. Because um, in this property, they have condos. I said, we'd like to get a condo that has three bedrooms or at least two bedrooms plus a den because the den would be the studio. The third bedroom would be the studio. So I said, if you see something, let us know um, because uh, we would love to be in that particular property. Uh, I know it well, but if not, no. And in the meantime, we kept looking. And um, he got back to us about a week later and threw us a couple of uh, properties. He said, what do you think about these? And neither was uh, was going to work. And we responded. I said, yeah, the, you know, here are the deficiencies. Here's what we need if you find anything. Less. So he came back to us like three days later with another couple of suggestions. And one of them looked pretty good, but the price was just, uh, the quoted price was crazy. And I, I was looking at the quoted price, and I'm going, you know what this price is? This is um, February, March, and April. Primo month, the three big months in the desert. February, March, and April. And I can see paying that much, but we're there October, November, December range. We'd like to be there for a bit of January, but you know, not even not even into February. So I wrote back and I said, listen, uh, you know, thanks for this quote. Really appreciate it. Got a couple questions about this one unit. So I threw a couple questions at him. I said, and by the by, the pricing on the unit, um, you know, seems kind of like 
prime time pricing because um, we're finding condos available in the desert for October that are uh, substantially less because it's the end of autumn and it's not yet winter. It's that shoulder season. November usually isn't that heavy in the desert either, but December it begins and then January and February. So I said, is there anything you can do on the pricing on this? Uh, you talk to the owner, let us know. Um, Cause I'm sure the, the owner is just quoting you the prime time price and we're not there for prime time. Well, darn if he didn't get back to us yesterday. And he says, I talked to the owner and um, the owner would love to have you. And I, I don't know if he told him who I was and if the owner saw my channel and likes what we do. I, I hope so. If you're there, thank you very much. Can't wait to be in your condo. Um, but, uh, but uh, I came back with a positive response on all my questions he had answers for him. And so I, I wrote back this morning and said, hey, we're, we're really interested in this. This would be great. Um, you know, we're coming in on Tuesday. <laughs> kind of like to know where we're sleeping on Tuesday night. Uh, although we've been looking at hotels, obviously, and going, well, we can always stay in a hotel for a week and you know, shop around when we get there. But uh, I think we might have our accommodation figured out. So all of a sudden, two for two, um, you know, plane, plane upgrade. The accommodation seems to be falling in the place at the right price and the right location and the right way. Now I need a car. Uh, so I'm now looking for a, a rental uh, out of LA. You know what? I saw this one. This is unbelievable. You, you guys want to have some fun. Uh, go online sometime and pretend you're flying into Los Angeles next Tuesday. Just just, just for the hell of it. Try to, try to find a car for like two weeks to four weeks. Find out how much they want. Uh, you could do Expedia if you want, you know, one of these search engines or you can go to a particular rental agency. Just just take a look for like a like a Malibu. Uh, the mechanic I used to own a Malibu. It was my father in law's. Uh, he uh, he had passed away, and and uh, the family uh, uh, didn't know what to do with this ten year old car. And and Jen and I were were we had another car that had conked out on us. And they said, why don't you take Grandpa's car? You know, and I think I got it for five hundred bucks or something. Like that. We ran it for like two years. We got more than our money out of it, and then it died. Anyway, the mechanic nicknamed it at the GM dealer. He says, oh, you know what we call these? I said, no, these aren't Chevy Malibus. No, what are they? They're Chevy Malibubus. <laughs> Malibubus, because everything is wrong with these guys. Anyway, this is, uh, this is from early 2000s, not today's Malibu. I'm sure, I'm sure GM makes a quality product by now. Anyway, a Chevrolet Malibu car in LAX, uh, we're talking ridiculous number. We're talking a thousand a week for a piece of crap Chevy Malibu. I mean, piece of garbage. Uh, the low end of, of cars, um, uh, you can get Jettas for 1200 a week. I was just like, are you out of your minds? These cars are crap. You can buy these things used for five, six, or all well, used to <laughs> with the shortage. See, computer chip shortage, look what's going on. Used car prices, rental car prices, nuts. Anyway, I don't want to, I don't want to be in a Chevy Malibu. Boo -boo. I'm looking for a Tesla. And so I'm using Turo to scour for a Tesla. And uh, hopefully we'll nail one down later today or tomorrow. And we'll, we'll get one booked for a while. And then we'll kind of figure it out from there. And uh, we'll see what happens. But, oh, my gosh, it's, it's, insa it's insane. It's uh, insane. I also like how these uh, these car rentals have never changed. They they are always the same. They have the compact car, then they have the uh, the economy car, then they have the uh, <laughs> the mid the mid size, the full size, the premium. They have a thing for everything, but there's no consistency. It, it used to be very easy in the old days. You had like a big old four door, eight banger of a engine. Uh, uh, a Ford LTD was a full-size car, and a Lincoln was a premium four-size car. Simple, you know, upgraded car. And then before that, you had the, the mid-size cars and the compact cars, and you come, you know, all the way down to the whatever, the, the Toyota Corolla or something. Now it's like different companies call different cars the same thing. So <laughs> a Malibu can be an economy car up to a luxury car. It makes no difference. It, it, and bottom line is, you're going to pay a thousand bucks for an economy car, and you're going to pay eleven $1 hundred for a luxury car, and it's a Chevrolet Malibu. Um, yeah, they're not—they're not really fooling me. Um, that 
they must be fooling somebody because uh, they do this all the time. Anyway, it's just this the old man Randy. We'll see how it all goes. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Bruce, I waited to get my rental car at the airport. I'd saved thirty percent. Got a Toyota Camry one week three oh seven with insurance. Nice, 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 nice. Um, yeah, I'm telling you, it, it's ridiculous. It, it, it is. Uh, yeah, some places cheaper to rent a U-Haul. That's right, you can rent a U-Haul. Maybe I should rent one of those twenty-seven foot trucks. You know. I come bombing into town at Palm Desert, yeah. Put a sign on the side of it, uh, you know, haul your stuff, 150 bucks. You know, maybe I'll get a bunch of work, make a couple bucks on the side. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> uh, last, I bought a, a 2018 F 150 Platinum last June for $47,000 Canadian, the exact same truck right now. 2018 F 150 Platinum is selling for well over $60,000. Wow. Time to sell. Sell at the high. Isn't that right? Isn't that crazy? Um, wow. Uh, my neighbor just got a new Tesla S. That thing is a rocket. Um, unbelievable. Uh, Costco has great car rental rates. Uh, yeah, we. I haven't. I haven't tried very hard to rent any car from any car rental agency. I, I took a look today just for fun, uh, just for a peek, just to kind of get a peek. And uh, saw some ugly numbers, um, but um, yeah, we're, we're we're looking to rent a Tesla privately through Turo. I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, unbelievable. Um, uh, yeah, here we go. Uncle Bruce, did you see Citadel having a meltdown on Twitter because of some hashtags? It's quite hilarious. I, I Sam, I haven't noticed. Haven't been looking for it though. I have to admit. Nice says uh, Bruce Snoop Doggy Dog, Eminem and Mr. Dre is playing at the SoFi Super Bowl uh, first quarter. Oh, that, that's good. Snoop Dogg. Oh, that's great. That's. I got all his. I got all his records. <laughs> the problem with selling at the high is you're also buying at the high. There's that problem too. That's your John's um, yeah, Uncle Bruce Spire issuing more shares. See SEC filings. Maybe that's why the stock's going down. Lots of love to you all this morning from Katie. Hi, Katie. Thank you for that. Let me take a look at uh, Spire. Let's see if I can if I can pop up the Spire quote here, and uh, let me take a peek at the uh, <clears throat> at the filings. Uh, if I can get them to work. Here we go. Uh, we'll go over there and then we'll do a filing search and, uh, let's see, is there something updating here? Nope. I have nothing updated. The latest update is from the 23rd of September, uh, and then the 14th. So, uh, I don't have anything new on Spire as of this morning, as far as SEC filings go. Um, so if any of you see anything any of you can send me anything, uh, let me know. Spire Global uh, News. Let's see if we can do that. I'm looking for doing a, a Google search right now. Uh, Pre-market trading um, one hour ago. And uh, well, let's see what this says, if I can read this. Uh, let's say... Uh, Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. No, I have nothing here. I got nothing on that article. So I don't know if there's anything official anywhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, one week ago, a week ago. There's announcements from a week ago, but I don't have anything, I don't have anything uh, newer. Um, I'd sure like to know about this deal. If anybody has anything about this deal, trying to raise money, selling stock, let me know. Um, love to hear it. Um, See here, Aspire. Uh, no, I got, I got nothing. I got nothing. So I still, can, I still can't find anything. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye open for it. Anyway, uh, nine seventy last trade on the pre market, on forty seven thousand shares. That's all I got. Okay. Welcome one. Welcome all. We're twenty six minutes away from the opening. It's a Friday, option expiry day. Uh, hope some of you are in a good position today to cash in on your uh, options that you've written. I know some of you wait for them to expire worthless, which is a great, great idea. Others of you, uh, you write options with two or three days to go, and then you use today as cash in day. Great strategy. I fully support you on your quest to get richer. Uh, that's what it's all about, and I think it's a wonderful thing. And we'll see if uh, we'll see if the markets want to give you uh, some nice returns. Looking at uh, uh, GameStop at 178.90, up uh, 343. Uh, I know sometimes some of you will write an option this morning, first thing in the morning that expires this afternoon. And uh, sometimes you'll look for a GameStop pop and you'll write a call 
right at the top of the pop first thing in the morning. And then as the day wears on, the stock begins to slump and you look for the opportunity to score it back. Uh, good strategy. Uh, keep your eye open for that. Um, there you go. Here's here's a, a Ms. Uh, mischievous, uh, mischievous. Uh, Spire Global shares declined 18% after the company filed a registration statement for a stock offering by existing security holders and for other stock issuances. This could basically be a report of insider, uh, it's just insider trading, where insiders are allowed to exercise options that they've been granted. And what they'll do is uh, say, an executive is allowed to buy 10,000 shares of, of Spire. And they can buy it at uh, ten bucks a share in the, on, on, through the company, um, but if they do that, um, if the shares are higher than that, they have a tax bill because it's an immediate income thing. If they can get it for less than ten dollars, it's an, a definite tax bill. Right now, at nine seventy, a ten dollar buyer hasn't got a problem. But um, nonetheless, um, it has happened in the past with public companies. This is not this is not uncommon where a a uh, an insider will take will exercise an option to buy 10,000 shares of stock. And they um, are looking at maybe a $30,000 tax bill by making the acquisition of the stock because the SEC considers it a, a net income gain the minute you buy a, a, a stock at a cheaper price than it's trading at. Again, I have to assume that Spire is being offered to these people at below a 970 for, for whatever. I could be wrong. Um, Anyway, uh, what they'll do is they'll exercise the option and then immediately sell a third of the shares, 40% of the shares into the open market. And that money that they get is literally the tax bill between state and local taxes, federal, state, local taxes. So they, they, they amass the, the tax bill and the remainder of the stock they don't sell, they keep. And, um, and now they own it outright. It's bought and paid for and it's tax paid stock. And now from the moment forward, from that moment forward, the stock is treated probably as a capital gain or a capital loss, depending on if and when they sell the shares down the road. Now, that could be what this is all about right here. That This could be basically uh, the uh, conclusion of options that were granted a long time ago when, uh, the, when, you know, when, this, when Spire was negotiating to to take over the SPAC. This is probably part of the negotiations and it could well be that uh, 10 or 20 or 30 employees or more have an opportunity to um, um, purchase stock from the treasury at a set price and there is or there is not a capital gain involved. Now, if this is a $10 strike deal, there's no capital gain because the stock's at 970. There's no income tax, there's nothing to do. If the stock's available at eight or seven fifty because they get a discount because they're shown because they're employees, well then obviously there's there's a there's a number over and above the price and there'll be a tax issue. I don't know. This this could be the issue. I could be wrong. NTPC says, look in your chat. Um, and uh, let's see. Here we go. Yeah, SBI are filed registration check for stock offering by existing security holders and for other stock issuances. Um, and uh, let's see, let's see. Would it be a good idea to trim some positions and buy up some Spire? This could be a bargain buy here. Uh, there could be an opportunity to grab some 750 calls, $10 calls, the stock itself. Uh, if, they're, if they're cheap, another drop, and I'm going to be able to afford a membership. Uh, let's see here. Um, Let's go, let's go. All I see is a bargoon right there. Yeah, if this is the case, how long could it last? Uh, these kinds of things, they don't last. They could could be over very quickly, I, I guess. they It varies between companies. Um, this is an ongoing thing with Apple, Microsoft, uh, Google, Amazon. I mean, you name any large company, they've always got stock options coming up for people because they have thousands and thousands of employees that are being offered stock options as part of their compensation. So on a daily basis, weekly, monthly, uh, these kinds of things happen all the time with most mature companies. Now, with this company, Swire, being brand new listed only a couple months, 
Um, it's all new to to you know to the shareholders of Spire. They're not used to this, um, and it's just possible that that some investors are reading into this story that there's a huge, you know, massive uh, dilution of stock coming, and and that's not the case at all. Uh, so uh, overreaction, uh, pre-market, post-market, and as we get going, things will calm down. This is to me nine sixty nine is ridiculous. But hey, it's a bargoon, right? Um, if there's somebody out there who is a nervous ninny and they want to get out, they're going to get out. And um, if any of you can take advantage of this seller, good God bless you. Because if the shares end up at eleven bucks later today, still down on the day, you could be up a buck thirty-one already, and nothing's even happened yet. So yeah. we'll see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. People are making all kinds of comments and everything. Else. Welcome, guys, to the show. Nice to have you here. We'll see how it works out. Uh, GameStop, uh, as we said earlier, 178.50 up 303 today to start the morning. SoFi sitting here now at 15.95, still up 7 cents. Uh, Justice Court, uh, for Supreme Court Justice Brent Kavanaugh tests positive for COVID-19. And is he an anti-vaxxer? What's his deal? Unbelievable. Um, 1595 on SoFi, up 7 cents on 616,000 volume. Um, let's see. Uh, Rocket Lab, 1592, down 21 cents on, on uh, 8,300 shares. Not a lot to get excited about. Nothing oot and a boot. Uh, the Dow is up 126. We have uh, 18 minutes to go before we open. And we're up 14 on S&P. We're up 25 on NASDAQ. That's where we are right now at this uh, moment in time. Well, we'll see how we start up. 1903 and Matterport up 12. Whoo, boy. Smart rent, 1302. No change. Six tier up 901. Or is it nine and a quarter? No change. And then Spire, 969 down 284. 23 and me at 9.05, uh, down a penny. Had a nice run yesterday during the day. See if we get another one today. Please go to 10. Just head over the 10. You don't have to tell us what you're doing. Just go to 10. We, we don't mind if you just go to 10. We're, we're, we're cool with that. We're down with it. Totes, down with it. Totes. Uh, yeah, 18 minutes left in the day. Welcome one, welcome all to the show. I'm glad you made it. And uh, it's good to see you all here today. Um, and uh, hey, long time no see says design for st students. Uh, Bruce, how you doing? I might just buy some Spire if it dips hard enough. There you go. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh, goodness gracious. Um, yeah, I had a terrible night's sleep again last night. Just terrible. Oh gosh, the the pain of this uh, this um, root canal. Oh boy, uh, just oh, every four hours another pill. Oh god. Ah, I'm sorry. It is what it is. Um, anyway, Spire just tanked at nine seventy. It was nine sixty nine a minute ago. It's come all the way back to nine seventy. What are you talking about? It's, it's on a roll. What? Oh, uh, geez. Uh, Spire is the first spot. Spack, take a big dump that I don't own. I feel you guys pain, but I'm happy not, not in this one. Um, Bobby, hotel beds are not your bed. One, uh, time to sell some Spire puts. It's time to write some Spire puts. That's right. Time to write puts on Spire. There's no pain all as well. There's no pain. You're fine. You're, you just, you're, you're okay, Bruce. You're not hurting. Take the painkillers, Bruce. You, know, you don't need no painkillers. You're fine. There's no pain. Uh, Puzoi Alex uh, has become a new member of YouTube. Thank you for uh, joining this channel. Uh, fantastic. I noticed that yesterday a number of you guys were talking to each other about um, uh, becoming uh, becoming premium members of YouTube, where I think you're paying YouTube 10 bucks a month to not get commercials. And, uh, oh, 
Pardon me. I think YouTube also gives you access to a music kind of a channel thing. Other other perks. And uh, some of you are asking me, hey, uh, do you make any money off this stuff? And I say, yes, I do. Uh, if you become a premium member of YouTube, I make more money off of you guys than anybody who comes in and watches an ad. Uh, absolutely. Because uh, the way they do it is that 55% of all the premium money that comes in is paid out to the YouTube creators that you're watching. So if you've got five creators that you watch all the time as a premium member and I get uh, one fifth of your attention, I would get 20% of your $5 and 50 cents a month. I get a dollar 10 from you. I don't get a dollar 10 from any viewer watching every single show of mine on it with advertising. It doesn't pay that much. So yeah, if you want to, you want to make me richer <laughs> and you want to get rid of commercials in your life, then, uh, subscribe to YouTube premium and, uh, enjoy all the perks. And we say, Jen and I say, thank you for helping us out. Um, indirectly, you're actually making us richer. What can I say? <sighs> what can I say? What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Uh, hey, Bruce, uh, can Spire just as easily go back up on low volume? Yeah, it could. It could. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. <sighs> well, premium member here, and I only watch you uh, and breaking points. There you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Chatter stack. My only advice ever, if you're sad and you're down, just buy more SoFi. So so you too can watch it flirt with 14, 15, 16 and have the anxiety build, even though you're convinced it'll go much higher. There you go. There you go. Uh, YouTube is not watchable without it, uh, uh, Bill. Truth, painkillers only really work if you take them when the pain is low or before it becomes a problem. That gives you the rest of fact. Uh, w, so I paid the U double by being premium and a member. Sweet deal. Well, you, know, look, you, you can always just send me donations if you don't want to, you know, you don't want to do a premium thing. You, you can just send Jen and I money through PayPal anytime you want. <laughs> I, I just mentioned it because a lot of folks were saying yesterday, is this premium any good? And Hey, Bruce, do you get any of that? And I thought I'd address it. I'd rather subscribe to you than YouTube premium, Bruce. Well, thank you. Uh, Rick, uh, come to St. Louis and uh, do a show at the Arch. Oh, uh, relax, Bozo. I've read the literature. What, what you probably meant was that I did not live with it. Okay, people are, are e insulting each other. This AMC gap up would have made me a ton of money. Paper handed solo cup. Uh, gold bug. Uncle Bruce, I bought puts on some of the stocks that you have recommended. Guess what? I've been making money. Oh, congratulations on some of them. You're making money. That's okay. Uh, with Prima, I get to listen to Bruce while out for a walk. There you go. Um, ad blocker, ultimate no ads on YouTube. Free add on for your browser. Vash, that sounds like cable paying to avoid commercials, yet some of it won't be enough down the line, and they'll add Platinum Plus. Dana, he had, my grandmother, Snyder, did the doorknob and th thread trick on me once. Um, slammed that door. Instructions unclear. I'm sending Bruce my life savings and donations. <laughs> Holy moly. Trinity, uh, <clears throat> uh, pretty soon you'll take shrooms, shrooms for the pain. Spires up five cents. Way to go. Uh, back around 2014, I bought a Tesla. Because I was in on Musk and his vision, people counting EV out because they were too small of a fish. D due diligence only gets you so far was the company would, would be later. Michael, yeah, unblock Origin and add block pro. Never never seen an ad on YouTube. Erico, Bruce, let me know when you get to the States. We need to uh, set you up on a hot spot so you have high speed internet everywhere with a safe, secure connect. There you go. P S T G I F F. Right on, buddy. Um, uh, Spire merger in doubt. I doubt it. I doubt it's in doubt at all. I doubt it. It's in doubt at all. All right. Um, we're up 134 on New York. We got 11 minutes to go. We're 100, 121 on New York, gaining 11, uh, 14 on S&P, 26 on NASDAQ, down 49 cents on oil at 74.52. So there's where we're at. Uh, what do you think about Fort stock? I don't, I don't think about Fort stock. I have no idea how it's doing. I don't know. I'm not I'm not eager to buy it. Uh, they have uh, they have serious money to spend uh, to set up their electrical division. So uh, I'm not a fan of the stock. 
uh, uh, John Israel Patterson, I guess you don't understand the comments he makes. Uh, it's okay. Most don't. Okay. Uh, Long Fort since 480. Right now, nice. I'll take you to our best bagel shop in town. Ooh, ATIP on the move. It's happening. Um, and uh, very happy to hear your dental issues have been resolved. Oh, they're not resolved. We're just not going there anymore for now. But they're not resolved. Yeah, the re resolved is where they don't hurt at all. But that's not the case at this point. I'm still pretty tender here. Um, I listen on my new phone. Um, and with YouTube Premium, I don't have to have the screen on in order to listen. Saves battery. Um, Austin says, went truck shopping yesterday. A 2019 GMC Sierra with 50,000 miles is $50,000. It's crazy right now. That's insanity. That uh, Yikes. Uh, yes, teabag. It's great. Bruce just kicked the can down the road, says Michael. Um, gold plated plain bagel with caviar and cream cheese, please. Erico Bruce, can you put your show on hold, please? Nature's calling and I'm being forced to answer. <laughs> I smell money, says Uncle Bruce. In regards to SoFi, um, what time frame would it take for them to finish the paperwork with the recent cash raise and the Golden Pacific buyout? Uh, you know, I think the paperwork is just about done for the for the one point one billion. Um, the approval for the the you know bank thing, we're just waiting for that to be announced. I'm sure it's done. I, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're close. Um, does anyone know if we can see the terms of the convertible senior notes? Probably on Tuesday. Uh, they'll file on Tuesday the successful completion of the bonds on Monday, and then you'll see the terms. I'm guessing that's what it what it is. Uh, happy sold some of my Spire calls a few days ago, and also sold out of the money calls. Good move. Learn a lesson with ME calls bought in March. We're up nearly 100 percent one point. Now they will expire worthless on October 15. I didn't buy it going to wait, uh, says Austin. Uh, Dizzle, Dizzle. Hey, Uncle Bruce, did the dentist count how many sesame seeds they found in your gums? So they, he was kind enough to uh, ignore all that. My two-year-old car with virtually no miles due to COVID, if I sell it, it's like I had a free car. I wasn't using much anyway. Interesting. Alexander, Erico, just pause it and then listen at one and a half speed to catch up back to him live. I do it all the time. And then you are right there. See? So easy. Wow. Um, what can I say? Uh, Uncle Bruce, go to the dentist. You need your chapas, chapas for your morning YouTube shows, just saying. Okay. Um, let's see. Sesame beads. Um, yep, I've knocked off all my deals out of the park since COVID and has perfect time and execution. My guy's been telling me, wait till spring. Uh, you're wrong for that. Laughing out loud. I don't know what these comments mean. Comments between people. Uh, eight minutes to go before we open for the day. And let's see what we've got going on here. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a nice little pop first thing this morning. Uh, ATIP is up two cents to 382 this morning. Not a lot going on there. Not a lot happening. Okay. Uh, we've got uh, SoFi 1591 now. Between 5191 1595. There it is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that Bagels can strengthen your immunity against the virus. Um, you know, he means grill, Bruce. Diamond plated bagel grill. Happy Poppy. Uh, it's fun to listen to Bruce at two times. He has a lot of energy. Thank you. I bought some uh, more Spire calls. 13.2 uh, on Wednesday. Bad timing. Oh, man. Uh, Bruce, thank you for reading my comments. You're the only financial channel I watch. Thank you. Brought my. I bought my a girlfriend a 2020 Subaru last year. 0.9% financing. Got my house 170,000 appraised at 220 with a 2.99 rate. I'm just killing it. It's just awesome. Uh, you're a god. Uh, Rose, uh, so far, was a pick on uh, MSNBC halftime by one analyst. Then it bombed. Erico, uh, Alexander, pro tip catching up now at one and a half speed. Awesome. I thought it was time for a new truck when I took my foot off the throttle and my truck sped up. <laughs> Uh, you're so right, Guillaume. It's definitely not a buyer's market. Believe me, I know it's it's redonkulous out there. I just thought I'd loathe the used car salesman. Dana, love it, Cheddar. Uh, talk about Spire. Uh, I'm Bruce. I like your channel. Thank you, Rocky. Uh, Adventures with Duncan. I can finally say we have a great group of people here now. Very enjoyable. 
uh, Cheddar said, you're your most humble man in any room. There you go. Dana, it refines 269 a couple of months ago from 399. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Uh, we're about to open in about five, six minutes. Thank you, everybody, who's, be, who's been with me so far this morning. It's nice to have you here. Uh, those of you who are members, you know. You know I love you. And Jen and I say thank you so much for being the backbone of our channel. Uh, without you uh, as members, we would not exist. Thank you very much. I'm just going to uh, say goodbye to my non-members and just say to my non-members, look, uh, we, we love you. Uh, please become a member and... Um, and uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll get we'll com comment we'll, we'll comment on your comments. Uh, that would be lovely to have you in here. Um, if you're not able to, uh, you're not able to become a member. Uh, maybe perhaps you could uh, consider uh, becoming a subscriber. But uh, again, thank you everybody who's here. Uh, appreciate that. Um, uh, where am I here? I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing here. Oh my gosh. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Uh what's going on here? Oh that's that. Yeah, yeah, that's that there. Okay. No, 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 okay. Uh got that done. Uh oh gosh. Um and there we are there. I don't know what's going on. I'm having all kinds of fun this morning. Uh, where are we at now? Four minutes to go till we open. Okay, four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes. Mm. Whew. Okay. Oh my goodness. Can't get that to work. Okay. One step at a time. SoFi 1588. Come on, SoFi. Let's go. We'd like it to we'd like to go straight up, please. That would be nice. We'd appreciate it. Uh, let's try this. Bruce, try this one. Oh my goodness. I'm hitting the wrong buttons on the on the wrong videos, but I got it figured out. Don't mind me, folks. I'm really hanging in there. Here we go. Members only has been engaged. Thank you, members, for being here. And uh, thank you, non-members who've been here all morning joining us already. Thank you. Uh, nice, nice to have you all around. And uh, let's see how we do. Okay, there we go. We have got the uh, members only mode on right now. Thank you, everybody. And uh, appreciate uh, all of you who are here. Uh, any of you can give us thumbs up this morning. Thumbs ups, we would appreciate that. Uh, that would be great. 233 have come in already. 234 already in the house. Uh, thank you for these thumbs ups already. I appreciate it. And uh, nice to have you all here with us. Okay. 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 Spire, 965. Uh, yep, 965. 104,000 volume. I have no idea what. The deal is with uh, this. I don't. I don't really know. Is this truly the reason? It's just some stocks being issued. I, I'm having trouble with that. All right. There we go. Thumbs up for Bruce. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Hmm. Whoo. <laughs> Jeffrey, <laughs> yeah, I like this comment, Jeffrey. Uh, this is very, uh, it's very kind of apropos. Uh, my wife, uh, she treats me like a god, and and she pretends that I don't exist and only talks to me when she wants something. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh man, love you all. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Charlie, we'll catch you later. Maximus, you take care. Hi, Dana. Hey, nice. How you doing, buddy? Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Tell my wife I miss her, says Red. Mm, Colin. Love you, Cabruz. Thanks, Colin, for being here today. Go game some, says Charlie. Dan um, Alawat. 
Bruce, what's a good price for a Spire Feb 22 $10 call contract based on the current dip? This I don't know. Where did it close at? Uh, what what was it doing uh, uh, yesterday? Let me let me let me get into the uh, let me get into the chain here. Uh, one minute to the opening. Um, you're looking for Feb. Oh, I can't see a I can't see a chain here, so I haven't got one to, to talk to you about. So I don't know. You got to tell me what did it close at, and then we'll see what's going on. I don't know. Will the shares trade at this price to start the morning, or or or, or will they adjust? We're opening now. Um, I sense that uh, that the bells are ringing and I sense that Larry is telling us that the bells are ringing and I sense that Larry is going to warn us that the bells are ringing but I don't see him doing it uh, Larry where are you um, no what's going on uh, let's see how the market's going to open up this morning okay I got rocket lab down nine cents 1604 I've got soap 1587 down a penny GameStop up 294 to 178. Matterport up a penny, 1892. 23 me down 8 cents. Smart rent down 42. Spire 965 down 288 on uh, 138,000. Boy, 965 right now uh, on the Spire. Here we go. Update that and see if I can get a, a refresh on this. Um, and I think we have a good start to the Dow this morning, up 215 points. Yeah, we have a good start in the Dow. We have S&P up 20, NASDAQ up 49. So we've got a good start to the markets here. Uh, but Spire is not a good start. 255 down 298 right now. Uh, ATIP down 3 cents. Sextera unchanged. Um, IBM up 292 on the old IBM. 141.85. IBM is popping. IBM spills details on Kindle split off. What you need to know. I think this was from yesterday. This... This is old news. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, yeah. We're going to do a spin off by the end of the year. We're going to dis distribute 80% of the company to existing shareholders. Uh, and uh, I don't know how this works, whether you get one of each share now. No forward guidance, no data, no nothing, and uh, yeah. Um, yeah, this news I've talked about before, but but IBM is up 241. Um, okay, 263 gain on the Dow, 19 on the S&P, NASDAQ up 33. Microsoft down 9 cents, Apple down 10, so those two aren't participating. Tesla up a buck 50. Real Caribbean up four dollars, ninety-three dollars a share. Amazon up seven bucks, nine bucks. Facebook up four. Google up eleven, so they're improving. And uh, Goldman Sachs uh, right now is up two fifty to three hundred eighty dollars. So we got we got Rocket Lab at sixteen oh four down eight cents. We got SoFi at fifteen ninety up two. GameStop up two forty. Matterport down nine. Me up uh, down seven. Smart Rent up uh, forty two. Spire. Down 298 to 955. Low of the day, 955 on 141,000 volume. No volume. I throw, I throw my hands up in the air and go, huh? Um, anyway, there it is. That's what we got. Let's watch this all morning and see what's going on. IBM, dog of the Dow. Um, dog of the Dow for IBM. And what's it going to do? What's this IBM not going to do? Up to 92 to 141.85. Kind of wondering if maybe the street's figuring out that this split's a good thing. Like, I've been thinking it's a good thing. Uh, I don't know. I've been thinking Spire's a good thing with their financing. Uh, that's a really good thing. Should be 20 25 a share. It's not. Um, so, you know, sometimes I'm just, uh, I'm all alone out there. And, and uh, you know, uh, some people just don't like us. Spire, 955. Um, uh, right now, was it 970? 966. So, jumping around on Spire. Um what is going on? Mm. Don't know what to think about that CNBC card comment. Um, Spire, 955. Yeah, that's depressing. A real depressing start to the day on Spire. Mm. What can I say? Boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy.
268 thumbs ups. Thank you, everybody. Spire, 970. Still down, but it's it's at 970. Low of the day uh, on Spire was... Um, uh, <clears throat> hold on one second here. Uh, there we go. L low, of, low of the day on Spire was uh, 9... Is it 955? Is that the low? Uh, yeah, 955. Uh, 141,000 shares. So uh, 161 now. 950 low of the day. 161. A high, but the lot, the bid ask a high low. 950, 970. We're at 970, 161. So it 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 just opened down here. Really ugly. Dow is up 193. S&P up 11 and a half. Nasdaq up nine. Oil down three cents a barrel. There's where we're at. Looks like everything's crashing this morning. Hmm. Well, we got some gains, but uh, we got some red. Um, Rocket Lab up, uh, down 41. SoFi down 6. GameStop up 83. Matterport down 15. 23 Me down 21. Smart Rent up 8. Spire down 290 to 963. ATIP unchanged. Sixterra unchanged. AMC up 98 cents to 3904. Robinhood up 56. Vanek down 75, uh, Home Depot down a buck 95, IBM up a buck 64, the Dow up 196. Um, that's what the market's trying to show us here. Uh, Nasdaq up 82 cents, Apple down 37, and Tesla up 280. So that's where we're at. That's where we're at, kids. That's what we got. We are battling this morning to see if there's anything going on at all. <laughs> there we go. Calling the ladies of this channel, I need some fresh ideas for Christmas gifts for my wife. Anybody have any ideas? Thanks in advance. There you go. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's talk that the short interest on SoFi has increased dramatically lately. Does anyone else see that or know that or are aware of that question? SoFi, 1588, 1596. Just jumped. It's up seven cents on so far. Rocket Lab still down thirty four cents. Um, buy her a one hour body massage or a spa gift. That's a good one. <clears throat> it used to be that you would get your wife a, a manicure and a pedicure. Now you get him a spa pass with a full body massage. Definitely worth considering. Yes, a spa trip, a day at the spa. Yeah, I bet all the ladies here would love. Have loved to get a year subscription to Uncle Bruce. I mean, hey, um, can't buy a one-year subscription to Uncle Bruce, but hey, Spire, 946. Is that right? Is that true? Uh, 941, worse and unbelievable. 942 right now on Spire. Uh, very, very surprising. Volume now, 100, 317,000. So I tell you, it's just tough to make this out. I don't understand what the, the dealio is, here is. Rocket Lab down 53, SoFi up 11, GameStop down 57, Matterport down 27, and 23 Me down 14, Smart Rent up 13, Spire down 320 a share. It's a bargoon down here. Um, I, but if you're going to get a contract, an option contract, or two or 10 or 100, go way out. Go go out into next year on Spire. Go way out. Um, try to get 10s, 750s, 10s. Uh, those are the ones. Um I got my SoFi order filled at 1580. Let's go. Leave it up to her boyfriend. Uh, Joe, Arco, how about some shares of GameStop? That's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year around. There you go. I can always count on you, NTPC. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Most boring and unpersonal gift you could give your student is, in my opinion, but whatever. Uh, aw, thanks, this NTPC. Arco, how I haven't imposed that kind of stress on her. How is that dentist, Uncle Bruce? Oh, where, where? Oh, I'm done. I'm dying here. I am dying, 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 dying. Yeah, uh, the, the the root canal is still acting up. Uh, my my hygienist beat up my gums, and that's calming down. Had a tooth removed last night, which was a no-brainer. It was no problem because he probably took half my brains out with it. So that's getting me numb and numb there. But no, no, the, the taking the tooth out was not the issue. It's the darn root canal um got i'm suffering from that root canal and i'm uh, uh doing the painkillers every four hours so yeah oh boy 920 on spire 916 on spire oh boy um what can i say i'm buying back my spire cover call 90 percent way to go well done 
915. Uh, wow. Um, I don't know what to say. Uh, what can I tell you? We're up 185 on the Dow. We're up 6.5 on S&P, but we're down 8 points on the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ just won't, won't come around. I don't know what to make of it. Uh, down 9 cents on oil. So, yeah, boy, I'll tell you. Uncle Bruce is buzzed. Um, buy her a puppy? What, what do you mean, buy her a puppy? Oh, my gosh. No, 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 no. Um, oh, my goodness. Uh, smart uh, Spire, 892. 892 on Spire. We're down 53 in Rocket Lab. SoFi, 1610, up 22 cents. GameStop down a buck 97. Matterport down 30. ME down 15. Smart right up 14. Spire down 353 at $9. Oh my goodness. So by 1610. Yeah, uh huh. That's right. Um, uh, am I the only child? My other side is the best birth control. <laughs> That's, it's, it's below nine. It's a bargoon down here, guys. It's a bargoon. 893, the low 887 here. Uh, this is a bargoon. Uh, 470,000. And I think this is ridiculous. This is a, a, a 750 call option. If you can buy 750s for cheap, I do it. Get tens uh, if you can. Uh, I almost missed it. I was in the meeting about automatically updating automation pipelines, boring IT stuff. We're playing 40 chess with our IT infrastructure these days. Uh, Roach and Treat. Um, I'm interested. Uh, I'm interesting. Uh, Christmas is going to be one of those significant digital Polaroid cameras, and they're pretty cool. Uh, dump it to me, dear on Spire. Uh, Dana, uh, she just threw that. She knew she couldn't beat perfection. There you go. There you go. There. <laughs> okay. Uh, 888, last trade on Spire. Score this stuff, kids. This is cheap paper. Don't know why it's down here. Uh, there's no reason for it to be this cheap. Uh, every reason for it to be in the upper teens into the 20s. Uh, but, you know, whoever's selling it is being forced out. I don't know why, how, where, and when, but. This is crazy. This is insane. 1603 on SoFi. We're up uh, uh, 15 cents. Yeah. Rocket Lab down 44 right now at uh, 1569. Um, GameStop down at 153. Matterport down 37. Uh, 23 me down 19. Smart Rent up 14. Spire down 367. ATIP physical therapy down a nickel. Sextera down a nickel. Uh, uh, AMC up 41 cents. Robinhood up 32. Uh, Vanek Vectors down 191. Uh, they got Home Depot up a buck 90. IBM still up 233. Looking good. 141.21. Dow up 153. Microsoft up 88 cents. Apple down 38 cents. Tesla down 233. Bed Bath and Beyond down 30. Boy, I don't know. We're still up 336 on Royal Caribbean, down up to 92.31. And Goldman is up 75 cents to 378.78. My, oh, my, oh, my. Okay, guys. There we have it. There it is. Oh, gosh. I don't know. Don't know. Don't know. At least so far is $21. Or, no, at least it's up 21 cents. That's true. It is up 21 cents. At least it's doing that. Um, yeah, it's, it's uh, weird and wacky. Spire, 859, uh, new low on Spire, 859, now 867. Oh, my gosh. Smart ran up 36 cents. SoFi up 27 cents. Only a couple winners. Everything else under pressure this morning. The Dow up 174. S&P up 7.7. .7. NASDAQ down 15.6. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Hey, if, if SoFi makes us rich, then you might be right. I sold everything going to SoFi. SoFi, SoFi, SoFi. I think it's going to go higher. We're up 23 cents on SoFi. This thing is destined for 30, 35. That's where it's headed for. Sooner or later, it's going there. That's my opinion. I, can, I have that. I'm allowed to have it. Uh, 868 on Spire down 385. Boy, oh boy, down 385. Amazing amazing uh mark gibson new member thanks mark for joining in here i love having you i sold all my amc at 12 so how perfect is that oh no it happens uh we're still up 153 on the dow down 24 on s p um aspire 869 now looking a little a little better than than, than earlier oh my 
Oh. Rocket Lab down 44 cents right now to 15.69. The low was 15.55, so we're down at 15.70, 15 cents better than the low. Still up 21 on SoFi. Uh, and uh, Spire 870, the low on Spire 859, 11 cents ago on Spire. Volume on Spire 675,000. I just I don't see, I don't see everybody trying to get out of the stock. It's it, 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 I'm shocked at um, the move on such slight volume. I really am surprised at this. Um, it's it's a bargoon 818. Is that right? 818. Are you showing 818 out there, folks? Uh, I'm just showing that quote right now down 435. I'm I'm blown away. That is that is cheap. Uh, the 52 week range is 827 to 1950. This is the low of the year on Spire 796. 796. Uh, 750 puts, uh, 750 calls and writing puts. Uh, not sure what's going on here. Um, and it's not halted. Um, it's just trading here. I have no news. I have no updates. Um, nothing. I got I got nothing. Anybody got anything? I have nothing to that I can pinpoint as to what's going on. 811 now, $8 on Spire down uh, 450 a share. Holy moly, your macaroni. Yeah, Spire in the sevens. A register an offering per newswire. Um, it's, it's drilling, so I'm having ATIP dizzy. Maybe uh, $8 last trade down four fifty seven eighty five down 15 more cents. This is a bargoon here. A bargoon. I I am blown away. Uh, Spire volume now at seven eighty five dollars uh, 901000 Like, where are the millions of shares to trade? Uh, it's just not coming in in waves at all. Just dribs and drabs, and yet it's backing off. It's amazing. SoFi up 23, by the way. Smart Rent up 36. Spire, 8 bucks on the nose on 924,000 volume. Uh, and I'm watching this very closely. 787 now, a 786. I think this is the low again. Yep, 779 was the low, low. We're just about there. Um, joy, I, I have no idea. How, how should we buy this call? I'd be buying them into next year. I mean, I really would. Uh, just, you know. You always want to be on the safe side, so go out January, February, March, April. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on, Erico. I know it's at two hundred, but now you were smart to get out there. Had no idea it was going to two hundred. Um, Rocket Lab ninety two fifty five unlocking the pipe investors twenty four million shares on Spire. Yeah, but that that shouldn't uh, crush the market actually, because uh, the pipe investors aren't interested in dumping the stock. Um, so there's there's speculators dumping the stock, but I don't think it's insiders because they're losing money. Like pipe investors aren't going to sell the stock at, at 797, having paid 10, knowing that they're taking over uh, uh, their uh, their uh, their Canadian company, the Exact Earth company. I mean, they're not, they're, they're, this is ridiculous. So this is, a, I think, a short-term opportunity to score some really cheap paper from some unknowing. Um, Weeps who are just who are just getting they're gonna get rocked. These guys are gonna lose a fortune. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How can this thing be down so much in a week? Yeah. I just I just don't know. Uh Spire 802 now. Uh we might have seen the low here. Uh, but you know, under nine, this is such a steal. Oh my gosh. If any of you can get some of these cheap calls, if if they come in cheap, I don't know if you can get them cheap. That's the thing. But the stock's cheap, so uh, you know, grab the stock and, and ask questions later. Um, and if you're any of you able to write puts, if any of you can write 750 puts, uh, ten dollar puts, um, any like that over the next three, four, five months, this is the time to do it. Absolutely. Um, anyway, yeah. Wild, wild spire 802 down 451 right now. Uh, that's where we're at right at the moment. Down uh, 451 a share. Rocket Lab down 58. Uh, SoFi up 35 to 1623. SoFi getting stronger. Uh, Smart run up 35 cents. Uh, spire eight dollars on the nose on Spire. Uh, yeah, ask questions later. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bought back my uh, October 15. Fifteen dollar call for five, Spire. That is, um, yeah. I'm uh, not sure what to make of this. Uh, back to Spire over here to SEC filings over here, and uh, 
waiting to get any kind of update there. Spire, 799, low of 779. Uh, the Dow up 132, and NASDAQ up 4.7, NASDAQ down 18. Um, waiting for an opportunity to update that file. Here we go, we can update it now. Boom, and see if I get anything new on Spire, nothing. No, S no filings uh, yet on Spire anywhere that I can find with the SEC. 797 um, is the last trade. Um, yep, down 456. What a crazy day. Matterport down 59 to 1832. GameStop down 171. SoFi now 1630, up 42 cents. Rocket Lab down 75 to 1538. So we got some stock coming in here. Some share, some shares dropping in value. Don't know how much further they'll go, uh, but uh, it is uh, quite something. Um, picked up 100 at 795. Well done. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, AB says um, 12 and a half smart rent uh, uh, for March. Rocketed up to 330. I bought at 235. I bought in. I bought. I put in a sell for four bucks, intending to scoop Spire twelve and a half for February. If I can pull it off, that's a trade I want to make today. Yeah, try to get Spire tens. Uh, try to get tens. Uh, picked up some cheap Spire. Thanks for the discount. Time to write some puts. Uh, has the stock been halted at all? No. Um, I don't know. I. I. Phew, I don't know. Um, averaging down eight ninety. I'll take it. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know what to make it. Seven eighty one. Seven eighty three. Um, Spire, whew. Uh, so far now, 1631. Spire, 781. Oh, man. Man, oh, man. This is a real bargain, guys. A real bargain. Unbelievable. Why Florida? Why, why the Florida, Spire? Why? What, why the face? Uh, this is crazy. Is the spike at 18? Yeah, it's true. Uh, it's just wild. If you can, if you can write puts on this, you can write 750 puts for you put up you know 7500 dollars you can write a put uh good you know uh buy 750 calls so 770 stock jeez you gotta be kidding me uh spire 769 uh this is a new low uh again um there's got to be somebody being sold out there's got to be somebody being blown out the door here uh this got to be a merciless sell by some broker somewhere. There's got to be a client sitting on a margin call. I don't know what's going on. What's up, Mally Boo Boo? Uh, scooped up 100 at 781. I picked up 10 February, 10 18 Spire calls for 90 cents. Um, and uh, sorry, Bruce, you poor baby, didn't realize you were suffering so much. Snoop Doggy Dog. Uh, okay, I just got a Spire February 750 at 180. Right on. Uh, these are steals. Um, this is when you make your money, is when you buy these deals. Uh, I don't know what to uh, what to make of it though. 770 on Spire. Uh, volume now is showing 1.29 million low of 766 on Spire. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I, I don't don't think it's the Wall Street bets crowd dumping. No, there's no reason for the Wall Street bets to be dumping at these prices. I mean, you dump at this price because the thing is going lower than this. Why would Spire go lower than this? They're they're doing their acquisition. They've got cash in the bank. Uh, I don't I don't I think someone's got a margin call somewhere. There's there's got to be a seller who is uh, sitting on maybe maybe they have another investment somewhere else that is really cratering on them, and they're using whatever else they have to sell enough stock to get enough cash in to cover calls, and and Spire could be one of them. I don't know who they. Is. I don't know who it is. I don't know the broker. I don't know the terms and conditions. I don't know the size of the problem. I got nothing. I got nothing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oof, it's really, uh, really wild. Um, Rocket Lab, fifteen twenty-seven down eighty-six cents. SoFi up thirty to sixteen eighteen. GameStop down a buck, Matterport down 59, Emmy down 22, Smart Rent uh, up 43 cents, having a good day. Spire, it's now, uh, Spire is now 772 down 481. Uh, low of the day, 766 or so, so it's about 16 cents off the low. Um, and uh, let's go, I uh, picked up the same scrap, scooped uh, Spire Maze for $1.30. Bake Baking picked up 100, Spire 770. Picked up 100 under 8. Oh, yeah. I mean, these are deals. Uh, 
Spire now, a 771. Um, just a nickel away from the low of the day. Uh, this, this is crazy. Uh, and if massive buying uh, comes in, I'll swear, could this squeeze the crazy level? I don't know. Picked up on Spire, May 22 for 130 strike, 10 bucks. I'm nibbling at Spire. Every 10 cent drop, I'm grabbing this stuff. So I'd be doing, I'd be doing that. A 775 last trade uh, between 775 and 766 on Spire. Um, well, suppose the street buys 10 million at these prices. Oh, well, you get to get scooped up. Uh, 200 shares at seven seven eighty nine. Ain't <laughs> it going nice? Way to scoop this cheap stuff. Uh, I have no idea what the bottom is, so you just got to kind of put in your limit orders and see if it comes to you. Seven sixty eight right now, down four eighty five. What a crazy morning on Spire. This is really something. Um, Stock market is playing English. More sellers than buyers. The sellers are in a hurry to get out. I don't know why, but there has to be a reason, and it's got to be probably some kind of a margin call or something. Rocket Lab, $14.99, down at all at $14. SoFi up $22 to $16.10. GameStop down a buck seventy-eight. Matterport down $62. Emmy down $22. Smart Rent up $51. Spire, $770 last, $770 last trade. $483. Down dip. Volume, $1.49. Million, oh, approaching one and a half million. Uh, not heavy volume though. I mean, that's not panic volume at all. Seven hundred seven sixty-eight now. Seven sixty-eight. Two cents from the low of the day. <clears throat> ATIP down three and a half cents. Six air down a dime. IBM still up two fifty at one forty-one forty-three. The Dow up one two one hundred two. Uh, uh, Microsoft up a dollar. Apple down a dollar twenty. Royal Caribbean up 278 to 9173. Goldman up $1.42 to 379. So that's what we got. Spires, 769 last trade. Uh, and the low has been at $7.66. We're right there on the Spire, uh, 1.462 million. Holy moly. Can't believe it. Uh, I got 279. Uncle Bruce, you think Spire in the money 750s or 9 out of the money Feb 2022? 750s. Grab the 750s. Uh, you know there's something wrong with market and things are broken when Royal Caribbean is over 90 and Spire drops below 9. <laughs> Who's the dumb money? Uh, Johnny Carson would say, wild, wild stuff. Ha, huh? just another Spire February 750 for 165. Yes. Um, let's see. Uh, great minds think alike. Um, Okay, I think I'm going to pass on Spire after all. Don't have enough uh, cash on hand uh, to get enough reasonable short-term trade. Can't do options trades from where I am, but good luck, everybody. So, Socius, uh, Tastyworks platform restricted Spire from trading since last week. Very, very weird. Uh, what is going on? Uh, can't figure this out. 768 uh, now on uh, 1.51 million. Um, uh, this is crazy. 762. Um uh, 762. This is the uh, the 715. It's a new low, so we're just about at the low. 762 on Spire. Wow, wow. Uh, hey, Uncle Bruce. Um, uh, hi, Uncle Bruce. I got some uh, Spire stock at 954, 867, 770. Please don't be mad at me. Oh, you're doing great. Uh, just buy as it drops. Keep grabbing it. Yeah, just steal this stuff. Uh, absolutely, uh, uh, Beach Boy, you're doing it right. Uh, and how is Hood up with everything going around? Nephew Spire just came to me at 763. Why is Matterport tanking? I don't know. Thumbs for nice. Uh, Spire now, 761. Yeah, you just scoop this stuff, Beach Boy. Uh, 770, that's a great buy right there. That's a really good buy. Uh, I don't know if it'll come lower or not, but uh, if it's coming in, you, can, you got some powder lying around, steal this paper. Uh, candy from babies. I don't understand what the steal is, but this can't last. 1.55 million, 770 last trade. It's got to be a sellout of uh, somebody on a margin call somewhere, but it could be unrelated to Spire. It could just be someone with stock. They got free trading stock, and they got to liquidate for whatever reason, and they're just getting hit, hammered. I don't know. 765 now, last trade. Um, 761, last trade. Again, Spire, 754, another hit. I bought 300, says AB. 
Larry, seven sixty one ninety nine for me. Uh, nice to see. Cheers. Lighten up. Spire announced a stock offering. This is not a reason for the stock to be doing this. It's just not a reason. It, I, I just sorry. I just can't. I cannot justify a stock getting hammered at this level because of a, a stock offering. That's five oh six a share. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't have any filings anywhere on uh, anything showing on spire that i can see here let me look again um nothing yet 748 last trade 738 low of the day on spire wow that's wild just wild 754 lower lord my spire average close to three old dollars a uh, little man at this drop blue my spire in november calls but there are more shares i guess 100 at 753 738 738 drop and lower spire uh 746 and 715 now 715 on spire there's no bottom on this one 716 720 not this again this is crazy seven seven seventeen low of the day on spire just getting hammered hammered absolutely getting hammered uh i have no uh no reasonable uh a, a reason for this ouch uh 713 712 uh 719 uh these are bargoons here uh 750 calls cheaper they get the better uh heading for sixes says uh, nephew uh feels like those old game stuff these i know 722 it's insane uh last trade on spire 726 low that a 712 uh this is wild uh, now 1.55 million i think the volume's late behind uh 719 over here spire gonna hit the fives or sixes i don't know lowest it's been in the whole it's lowest of all time uh get your limit orders in there folks light up same fear of dash or dilution and hit gamestop when you announce the same thing uh spire gonna go atip on us i don't see why i bought 10 shares margin call someone's dumping yeah that's what i'm thinking 706 uh 695 boom uh if you get you're putting in your limits put in limits at 691 686 7 676 put in limits at 771 uh 761 751 52 someone anyone down there said 652 53 put limits down there you might get lucky seven six seventy three six seventy three six sixty nine uh two million volume now six sixty nine my market watch is up to speed six seventy three uh still can't get an update on my phone here it is behind uh way behind uh i'm speechless this is wild guys this is really unreal seven seven six six eighty two uh, in the six seventies um six eighty four now uh down five sixty nine i have no idea what's going on here uh six eighty four down five sixty nine buy now ask questions later buy i got a hundred at six seventy six false way to go octavio average uh, point also served for the company and they have also been getting hit pretty hard uh let's see here uh just waiting for this to calm down they'll buy some more this is mental matter part time for me buying some more here okay uh here's the bottom uh when the trading halted at some point can we still watch the free fall you, you're speechless uh since when what the hey my february 22 12 and a half and spring cars almost same price buy three billion market cap was nice knowing you uh fail falling knife 50 percent drop what's robin to stop trading 563 uh, I don't know if it's doing that uh, what are you doing with Spire uh, yeah 746 2.28 million 695 last trade 688 low of 666 um, pipe selling someone's in trouble can't believe it I can't believe that I just don't believe it uh, I think Bruce just likes providing us with heart attack stocks <laughs> yeah this is what I live for I live to go to the dentist for three days in a row and get the crap beat out of me hang on by a thread and talk to you about a stock drop in 546 this is my idea of a good time <laughs> uncle bruce what's going on with spire what do we do you buy it you just buy it you put in buy orders you put in low bid buy orders limit orders get this stuff buy 750 call options if they're cheap get tens uh buy the stock just pick up this stock this is cheap stuff uh i cannot believe it down here holy crap i got filled at 666 that's the low trade this is wild spires worth 25 a share in fundamentals they've got they got huge buy uh, buy recommendations this thing is getting hammered by somebody in trouble there is a shareholder in trouble gotta be in trouble 
Uh, I don't know what to make of it. A 704 now, 705. It is wild. A volume of only 2.28 million. Uh, my phone is behind though. 700, 705 on the stock, low of 666, and that might well be one of my viewers, Drew Nilsson. We did all, all, we did all complain that GameStop didn't have exciting action. Well, we got exciting action now, Bruce. If our spacs keep dropping like this, Andy PC will in, inflict more pain on you than the dentist. <laughs> But 18 Spire, a February call, 750 at a buck 46. That's a steal. Uh, maybe I'll make back some of the money I lost. That is a steal. I got 100 shares at 668. Good buy there. ATMP is worth the price in cash. This is a growth stock state. That's the thing. Uh, that, that this this stock is like three dollars cash too. Uh, I, I'm just 713, low of 666. So it's come back uh, 47 cents already. But under nine, this is this is a bargain. This is a giveaway. Uh, this is crazy. Spire still showing 2.5 million, uh, but we bounced off the low. We're now at seven dollars, uh, up 34 cents off the low. Heck yes, I have well, 1,100 shares now. I can write calls with 300 Spire, 500 Matterport, 300 SoFi. Awesome, this might rock after all. Um, 708 right now, 713. Looks like we're popping up a little bit here. Is it a dead cat bounce? Is the sale over? I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, who sold? Why? How? What? No idea. This is wild and wacky. 716, 713, 716. Go, Spire, go. And those of you who are scooping up these call options, I hope you make a killing on these. Just a killing. Uh, if it's possible, 710, 711. I don't know. I don't know. It Was it a bar? It was, was not a bargain yesterday? It was a super, super bargain today. 714 to 16, uh, 12 to 14. On Spire, what a day! Uh, two point five six nine million. It's not. We don't have ten twenty million traded. This this has got to be a single seller being blown out. There's got to be someone who had an account who just got blown away, and it just sucked the vortex out. Whoever was selling was was really killing the market. I, I I'm guessing. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's truly what happened. But this is not seven ten down five forty three. There is no corporate news that would justify that. This is ridiculous. Um, uh, my average price was seven fifty eight. Oh well, um, <laughs> seven ten, seven twelve. Uh, right now, seven ten, seven twelve is where we got Spire. It's it's up from six sixty six, so it's up about forty six cents from the low or so. Um, what is it going to do? I'm hanging on by a thread here with all this pain from my dentist. And uh, can't get away from this. Uh, just amazing. Uh, 703, 707. We're coming down again. Get ready. Put in some bids at 701. Put in bids at 696, 691, 886, 881. You're just a penny above. Nice round numbers. Put in limit orders if you want to buy some and see if it comes to you. You might get lucky. Personally, I blame new vice president of weather for this storm. <laughs> A B, I jumped the gun with an average at 833, 709 right now, 709. Uh scoop this cheap paper. 701. Unbelievable. There's some there's somebody listening to me. 701s are getting hit right now. 702s are getting hit right now. That's what you want. If you're a buyer, buy at odd numbers, just a penny above. Nice round numbers. Don't put in a bid for seven. Put in a bid at 701, 702. 694. Here we go. 696, 694, 691s. Here we go. 694 again. Seven dollars again. It, it's oh man, oh man, down five fifty three, two point six nine million. We want action. We got action. Why? I don't know. Um, we've got Rocket Lab down eighty eight to fifteen twenty five. We've got SoFi sixteen seventeen up twenty nine. GameStop down fifty three cents. Matterport down fifty five. Me down twenty nine. Smart Rent up sixty. Spire down five fifty to seven oh three. I can't, I cannot, cannot understand this. Uh, uh, ATIP down seven cents. Sextera down eight. AMC up a buck. Robinhood down twelve. Vanic down two bucks. Home Depot down a quarter. IBM up three fifty five. IBM up three fifty five. Why IBM? Why? Uh, it's running at one forty two fifty six. The Dow's up one hundred seventy five. Uh, S and P up five. Nasdaq down fifty six. There is no reason for SoFi or Sp Spirit. Spire, there's no reason for Spire to be here. It's zero. 701 down 552. This is ridiculous. This is a steal. 
an absolute steal of paper uh, below nine, without a doubt, in my opinion. 704 last trade, down 548. 697 now. Unreal, you guys. Uh, this is insanity. I'm just watching the, I'm watching the Spire, man. I can't believe it. I sold my Spire contracts during the run-up. Thank the gods. Uh, Dana, I think it's interesting that SOFA is the only stock I have that is behaving the same as my old school stocks. Hey, Uncle Bruce sold a Spire put. I got 1080 for a Feb 22. Good deal. Uh, did you write? Uh, which one did you write? Um, did you write? Uh, I have no idea. Which one did you write, Cheryl? Uh, what 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 was the exercise price? Uh, sounds sounds great. Well, seven oh five last trade. I'm up on a very down day. I did the same with Matterport a few weeks ago. At least Matterport didn't crash like this. A uh, filled at six ninety one. Right on, Orion. Ventures with Duncan. Are they going to stop trading on Spire? Not yet. Aspire and Smart were the last two specs I need to acquire before being able to write offers and all. Didn't think it would come so soon. I think Spire had pipe sellers. Spire, 300 at 691. Nice steal. Thrift, 703. People are scooping cheap stock on this channel. This is fantastic, you guys. Steal this paper. Steal it. Uh, I wasn't in Spire till today. feel really good about these 750s. I can see why. Uh, nice work through an MTTR dip like this. I'll be buying back for sure. Um, $20 exercise price. So you got paid. Uh, thank you for telling me. So you got paid 1080 uh for a 20 so you're looking at a 920 uh net cost yeah well you know spire uh you must have bought that you must have written that a while ago because that uh it's gone down ever since but uh, i still think you're gonna make money I, I still think you will i i put a buy order in at 689 uh waverly thank you for the donation i just got another feb seven and a half for 150 oh yeah yeah this is this is a good move 691 693 on the stock right now uh, getting calls, uh, call contracts for that long February for a buck fifty on seven and a half. Oh yeah, geez, yeah. Uh, about to put six sixty nine limit order in. Yes, see if you can get it. Uh, you know, for sure. My objective was to get three hundred below eight. Put in an order for seven sixty nine. Got it at seven fifty eight. Even better, AB. Uh, Kenny G selling off the cover to the GameStop AMC. Uh, yes, I don't know. Spire seven six seventy six. 688 it's jumping like crazy 688 on spire low of the day 666 i think uh let's see uh yep 666 now it's 680 uh and 688 um same antpc i got one as well at a buck and a half 680 now i bought a hundred uh just now now what when moon should where, where should i get the money to spire buy spire picked up four spire febs for 145 nice uh, way to go get those 750 call contracts. Uncle Bruce, have you seen Citadel's Twitter meltdowns recently? It's a beautiful sight to behold. High five, says NTPC, the number of the beast. Uh, 681, 692 is our bid ask right now. Uh, wow, we are uh, just, this is wild, absolutely wild. We're up 23 on SoFi. We're down 91 on Rocket Lab uh, right at the moment. Uh, welcome to the show. And I'll tell you, this is just insanity. Um, Spire Global was $19 a share last week. It's now $6.81. Are uh, you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, down $5.72 today. Uh, there's no good reason for this. Erico Bruce, so what was the news that caused the sell-off issuing more stock? Some people are saying so, but I can't find an official word on it. Making money, says Cheryl. <laughs> That's it. That's the objective. Uh, yeah, 691, 686, 691 right now on Spire. Oh, my gosh. What what a run here. This is wild. Down 563. Hey, Jeff. You guys having fun on the seesaw? I tell you, I, I, I am just uh, looking at, uh, at looking at Spire here. Yeah. 682. Um, this is crazy. Uh, there's, there's no justification for the stock to be doing this. I mean, this is the last month of the stock. It got up to almost 19, and here it is down here. It's never been here before. It's never been this bad, ever. So, it, I mean, it's just off a cliff. It's just off a cliff. I can't believe it. Uh, doesn't, doesn't and it's, like that. it's being written up by brokerage firms uh, as a buy. It's been given buy recommendation. At a time like this, it's kind of hard to get to the bottom when a stock like Spire could easily uh, three times from here get it, get in now. That's it. I'm going to put in a buy order for 501 to get 200 of them. Good luck, Duncan. You might get lucky. Five February 22 calls for 140. You got one. You got 750s. Way to go. 
Got 110 more Spire between 688, 717 in dribs and drabs. Total now 310 shares. Average 907 right on. Scoop this cheap paper and take it off the street. 685 down 568. Volume now 3.2 million. That's all. Morning Jen says, John, maybe I'll get my May $10 at 101. Double D is wondering, you might get some scoop, scoops on some contracts here. Whew. 682 last trade. Oh, boy, I thought it was going to be an interesting day. I didn't think it was going to be this interesting. Uh, this is crazy. We're up 152 on the Dow. We're up 4.89 on S&P. We're down 49 on NASDAQ. We're up a quarter on oil. 694 now on Spire. Uh, 692, 694. Improving again. Uh, can it go higher? Let's see. Reddit is saying something about Spire and pipe investors. Poster guard, all right, rounded it. Uh, uh, slightly more risky out of the money. February Spire calls eight of tens for ten for seventy-five cents. Let's roll. Let's go. Uh, Two point four five million pipe shares. Uh, good morning, Jen. I don't see the pipe shares coming in. I just don't. I just do not see why they come in at all. Uh, pipe investors are institutions that wait a long time. They what, will wait it out. What's the relationship between Spire Inc. and Spire Global? Uh, Spire Inc. is off too. Yeah, I don't know what, what that is, but Spire Global is the one we're talking about. Yeah, so I, I don't know. Uh, there's got to be a relationship with the same name. No idea. No idea. There's a lot of companies with the same names. Uh, 694 uh, at uh, down 559. So we're coming back up to 7 again. Um, at this rate, Bruce, I might retire in 29 instead of 2040. Well, it'll be a fun 50 years. I uh, love I just averaged down my October Matterport calls to 58 cents. Oh, Auntie, you're stealing them. Picked up 500 Spire at 680. Nice job. Uh, my Spire 671 order got filled. Good job. Good hit there. What's cooking, Wendy? 400 shares of Spire 676. Steals. Steals everywhere. 701 on the stock now. Uh, 709 I'm showing now. It's popping up. 707, 709. Uh, you guys are scoring 20, 30, 40 cent gains already. Uh, beautiful. Uh, 708, 709 on Spire right at this moment in time. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Uh, so far, up 10 cents to 5 of 15.98. We're down 61 on Rocket Lab, 15.52. Um, GameStop down 231. Matterport down 62. Emmy down 34. Smart ran up 58. Spire 721 now. 721. It's improving again. Lovely. Uh, the question is did the seller get blown out and is it done? Is that is it? Is it done? It could it pop back to like 950. Wouldn't that be a nice little trade for some of you today? Uh, especially you option buyers. Um, save some powder for later. What do you think, Bruce? You never know. James look like Spire bottom out. 711, 710 right now. Um, ATIP 368 down 12, 6 there down a dime. And Robinhood, uh, sorry, IBM, YBM up 315. The Dow is still up 22 points, giving up some ground. 723 on Spire now. Uh, 728 on Spire. That's what I'm showing. Wow, what, what a crazy morning. Oh. Spire, 719, 716. Volume on Spire now, 3.48 million. So uh, it wasn't 20 million that came in. It wasn't like a wall of, you know, selling from every angle under the sun. I think it was a, a single seller. I, I'm really curious. If that's how this actually played out, 703 to 708 on your Spire, 712 now last trade, 713 last trade. Um, I thank uh, little baby Jesus. I had some fresh powder today, okay. eight pounds, six ounce, the special baby Jesus. Um, geez, the candles look like an Alaska Gold Rush trail on Spire, 708 um, and 706. Um, uh, Guillaume, I grabbed some Spire 750 Feb 22s for a buck 40. Thank you, Dip. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, uh, not that the channel follows it, but I've lost a full Tesla on Moderna this morning. Joe T just got Spire $10 Feb 22 call for a buck 40. Sparky just went uh, from 175 speed to catch up to live. That was weird to hear Uncle Bruce go from chipmunk speed to normal. Um, Aaron. <laughs> All is well. Most of our SPACs are red again. If Spire has done an ATIP, then this, this is normal, guys. Green is weird. Spire, 709 right now. 709. Uh, Joe T, me too. Uh, Mentets, I jumped back into Spire at 1470. 
some more red, and I'll be posting on Wall Street bets. There you go. <laughs> 709 on Spire. 3.53 million traded. This is wild. This is just, just ridiculous. 719, 715 on Spire right now. Yeah, will we get a, a little jump here? Uh, will we get a recovery jump into the eights? Uh, anything is possible here with this kind of drop. So a 534 drop without a legitimate reason. This is crazy. This has got to be someone getting blown out. I used to fear the dip. Now I like the red more than the green, says CJ. Uh, Mark has COVID pill. Any thoughts? MRK, I uh, yeah, heard about it, but uh, we'll see. Come on, green. Um Wow, uh, the Dow up 14, S&P down 11, NASDAQ down 104, so the big markets are backing off. 726 to 729 on Spire now, coming back on. This must be September 31, not October 1. I want, I want this is a bizarre world in which we're living here. Uh, 722 on Spire. Uh, oh, boy. It's like a 58-cent uh, jump from the low of the day uh, to here. Um and this is this is really something. Uh, we've got SoFi still holding a gain of nine cents, fifteen ninety seven. Uh, holding on to something. Spire seven eleven to seven eighteen. Man, guys, I don't know what to say. Seven fifteen last trade. Way to pick up these deals. Uh, way to go. Um, none of us knew the bottom, and I don't know if this bottom has been had, but this is a pause. Uh, at the moment, uh, but those of you who scooped this cheap stock down here, way to go. Uh, with the stock, you have endless time to see a recovery. So by November, I think Spire will be 20 bucks. Why not? If it was there already. They're a borderline defense contractor. They never go broke. I agree. British, uh, he did get gold. Uh, farmer, uh, 300 at 7-Eleven, right on. Uh, reminds me of my favorite quote, money me, money now. Me, uh, money, need me a lot now. Uh, British, I bought some gold recently, and now I get customers who bought this also purchased frankincense and mirth. Mm. Uh, Bruce, if I did it, uh, Bruce, I did it. I pulled the trigger. Uh, the other day I sold out of GameStop entirely. I want to maximize the SoFi opportunity and take advantage of days like this. I can always get back in later. DQ, 900 at 686. It's 716 right now. Nice. Wow. Uh, when something like this happens, Bruce, is anyone on the company side or from Wall Street supposed to or need to say something? Unless the SEC demands it, um, you know, I mean, the company could halt their market and they could make a release saying that we know of no reason why our shares are doing what they're doing. But these these kinds of halts sometimes don't do much. I spent my dry powder on SoFi this morning. Why didn't anyone tell me Spire was going to do this as Nicholas? Gaudi, DQ, dang nice. Uh, Jennifer picked up another Spire, 750 Feb for 160 Nicely scooped up. 706 on the stock, down 5 47 a share. We're all red on the dot on the big markets. We're down 8.3 on the Dow, 14.5 on SP, and down 105 on uh, NASDAQ. Um, I managed to roll my Spires 12 and a half into a Feb uh, from November 12 and a half to a Feb 7 and a half for 150. There you go. Good move. Good move. Um, Spire now 710 a share is where I'm showing it at this moment in time. Smart ran up 45 cents today, having just a fine day today. I got five 750s in Feb for 140. That's awesome. You know, this thing pops back to 10 bucks. You got a 250 book value plus a dollar premium. That's a 350 contract. You're making money here. 720 now on Spire. Uh, and 500 shares of CJ. I also got 500 shares. So you got five, 500 shares in the way of contracts, 500 shares where in the way in stock. 722 is this is this is it warm on the moon is it warm 2.6 million on spire um jennifer i got 10 contracts seven halves 155 feb 18 2022 as well nice rob now if only we can find a stock going up as quick as spire went down that would be kind of nice yeah 723 right now coyote uh cj goes that's going to print cash that is going to print cash there you go uh spire 721 to 724 Jumping around a bit right now here on the spire. Oh my gosh, what a what a crazy, crazy morning. Oh my gosh. Tell you, uh, unbelievable. Um, Rob, stocks take stairs up, but they take the elevator down. I also spent my dry powder yesterday on more SoFi. No regrets, and I agree with that. We can only hope. Uh, so, so, uh, SoFi up 
nine to fifteen ninety seven, still holding a game. And SoFi right here at 718 uh, at the moment. 716, 718 is the market. Not even a single letter. Uh, I don't have no idea what that means. Whew, 722 again on Spire. Uh, go, Spire. Go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. <sighs> We're down 55 on the Dow now. Definitely dropping off. Uh, this Dow has come down uh, 400 points, uh, 500 points in the not lot, not not long time frame here. Let's see what we got. Uh, uh, no, not 500 points. I apologize. We're off. Uh, we're off from 31, 34,100 to 33,785. So we're off uh, 215 and 100, three, uh, 400 points though. Still, still a significant move from top to bottom, from opening to where we are now. It's got to be Washington. It's got to be uh, failing to pass whatever, and that's what's going on. Anyway, there it is. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Uncle Bruce, I see where Aspire filed registration statement to do a stock offering. I see it. You think it would be wise to take my profits on this $20 matter, put, put expiry 1015? Uh, you, you went long on it. Um, I... You know, if you're up nicely, uh, October 15, you might want to take your money. Uh, Matterport down 60 here. If you're in the money, take some money. Spire, 725 right now. Uh, forgive me, Apes, AB. I had no dry powder. I had to sell some GameStop to scoop three in the Spire. If this goes three, four times, I'm going to be back in GameStop even more if the GameStop stays around here. Coyote, so true, says Rupp. Um, yeah. Taya, uh, Spire, 721 right now, down 532. Um, and SoFi up 7 to 1595. GameStop down a buck 50. This is where we're at, kids. This is what we got right now. 722 on your Spire. Uh, folks, I have to apologize. Uh, I have to get off the air. Um, I'm just suffering here from this dental thing, and I'm just exhausted. Uh, I need to get a quick nap in here. Uh, I'm going to come back on. Again today, of course, I might be on earlier though than three o'clock. Keep your eye on this uh, spire. Scoop this stuff up if you can. Uh, this is the what you want to do. Um, uh, there are February eighteen six dollar calls. Bid one eighty five. Ask three forty. Do I bid one eighty five and hope someone sells to me? Bid one eighty six or one ninety, and then be the first in line at the cheap price. That's how you do it. Uh, everything is ready yesterday. It was interest rate. What the spire? Uh, that's what we're saying. Spire. Um, and worrying to see the NASDAQ constantly sh shifting down. Uh, feel better, Bruce. Uh, Hank, it's okay, Uncle Bruce. Rest up. It's all good. Already, Spire now is uh, 723, uh, down 530. We'll keep an eye on that, um, and we'll see how we uh, we do, folks. Scoop a, scoop this cheap stock. Get these cheap contracts, these 750s. Steal these things uh into next year absolutely and let's see what happens on the other side unbelievable get some rest uncle bruce you take care thank you everybody we'll see you on the other side i'll be back on in a couple hours when i uh, get after a bit of a nap i'm going to get some rest here and we'll keep an eye on it with you all right see you later bye for now